Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back in the Susquehanna River Valley. Folks, it's a big day today. We've been talking about doing this for a while. It's planter update day. We've had this case early rise planter for, well, who knows how long now. We have used this thing for so much, it's time to get an upgrade. And you know what? Usually we go bigger, but the baby's here. We got the baby planter now. Oh, it's so good. I'll tell you more about it in a sec. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. <laughs> It's so good guys that's right we've been using this early rise planner for well who knows how long like this has been one of the initial purchases on this massive farm we've got going on here the trailer park farm couldn't survive without this thing it's been such a good planter and you know what we were thinking of upgrading to something a little bit bigger maybe and getting rid of this that was always kind of the, the choice on this now the nice things about this of course is well you've got the extra fertilizer tanks on this particular one so we got the two saddle tanks up on top the arms up there uh we got weights up on the front we do have a hitch on the back of this, which I have not used. We've been talking about trying maybe to upgrade that to, to have a pull behind a following trailer for the fertilizer. That's something we've thought of doing for some of our, especially our bigger fields, which are um, both completely ready to harvest, I might add. Oh boy. See, this is what we need. The big, we need some bigger harvesters, bigger, bigger planters for these, these massive fields out here. See that? I've never seen one so big. But, but instead of going with a massive planter, another planter that's not going to be maybe as versatile as this early rise system. As we went down to something a bit different, we saved ourselves some cash and went with, well, the smaller. This was like 150,000 less than that big planter. This is only a 12 row versus the 16 row, I believe we got. It's a baby. So th it's definitely a little bit smaller, but this is going to be actually really good for some of the smaller fields that are kind of like around our farm yard right here. We have like a field right behind us. We got one just on the other side of the trailer park here. These are a little bit smaller fields. We can use this planter on those. Yeah, it's still gonna be a little bit more work, but it'll work. And now the nice thing about this as well, we can just double up, right? We could, we've got tractors. We could double up both planters on one field if we needed to. We know we're gonna get the same kind of quality out of this as that, because they're pretty much identical other than size. That's pretty much the difference. Now, of course, we only have the one tank. We don't have saddle tanks on this one, so we're missing that. We do have a hitch on the back. We got the rear hitch, so we can connect more more uh, liquid fertilizer in the back of that. But other than that, guys, these are almost identical. It's just a little bit different in size. So I've got to go with the Massey. Massey's over at Bubba's. We've got to get the bull to hook up to the bigger one. And we're going to do a little bit of a test plant today. We'll see how this all works out. But we got both early rise planters. We're going to put them both in the field and give them a test. Perfect timing. Here comes Gertie right now. Oh, great. You. We'll get her set up on the uh, the bigger one, and uh, we'll take the small one with the Massey. All right, let me get this set up, guys. I'll get Gertie fired up, and we'll head over to Bubba's. All right, Gertie's just filling up with some fertilizer. She'll be over here in a second. We got everything limed on this field. It's it's ready to go. We just got to get some crops down on the ground. Uh, is Bubba around today? Bubba, where are you? Well, there's the Massey. Is he in the back here, maybe? I don't know where he is. You never need the guy when you're, when you're looking for him, I guess. Uh, looks like, let me just jump inside, see if the keys are in this thing. It, yep, good, perfect. Keys are in it. Uh, it looks like it's done. Maintenance looks like it's done. Let's fire this on up. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, we've got s almost 70 hours on this already. We're getting a lot of hours on this thing. You know what? Hopefully he's done with this. Let's take this over. I'm sure it's fine. Looks like everything's good. Ah, he knows where to find me if there's something out. I'm going to be like right across the street from his shop here. So if he needs me for more, whatever. He can come grab me. Let's uh, get this back on out. Thanks, Bubba. Cheers to you, bud. Let's get this thing on the field. Just flip this in. We got to get some seed. We got to get some fertilizer in there. And uh, we'll get caught back up in the field here. Let me see if we can manage this just right. Let's open that back hatch on up. And uh, let's go fill this thing on up. And just filling up with some fertilizer. We got more seed just showed up. We got a whole truckload of seed that just showed up as well. We're on a little bit low. Perfect. Fertilizer's good to go. Let's get into the field. Let's go see how Gertie's doing. Uh, don't see her, but she's done... It's like one uh, one headland so far. I I've asked her to do a couple. I want her to get two in, and then we've got to kind of work this a little bit different than normal because, well, we've got two different size planting units, guys, so it's going to be a bit of a fight here. Uh, we're going to start in the, the kind of the back corner here. Hang on. I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Oh, I've been in the process of joining a bunch of fields back here. So, in fact, like this used to be four different fields here, and then straight ahead of us was two fields. Now, the field on the left, that's a different field. That one there kind of wraps around the orchard, which is right over there. It wraps all the way around now. This one here, it just goes straight up and then up to the river here along the shoreline. So this is where this river, this this field goes. We've got two fields here. 
they're co now connected to these four fields. So it's, it's a bit bigger than what we've been used to dealing with. It should be all right. So I've got her going to go around and shut that off. Let that sit for a sec. Once she gets done a couple of headlands here. Yeah, we got two headlands done. And then I'm just going to start on this corner. I'll let her start on the far side. And we'll just kind of work our way to the middle. Oh, here, here she comes right now with the powdered donuts. Those the government donuts, my friend. It's not easy work. Feel, what is this? One? Headland one? Nice. Don't get out of the way. Let her do the corner. Good job, Gordy. That bowl. Oh, that bowl. I'm telling you. That thing is sweet. All the way back down. We'll let her get one more headland in, and then we'll uh, we'll dive in. With the two headlands, that'll at least give us enough space that we kind of spin it around and not get stuck. Kind of just... You know, you get it. You know, you know what I'm saying. All right, she should be coming any minute. Let's unfold this. Got the window open back here. That looks good. I like that. Windows, that's opening. There, here comes Gertie right now. Perfect. So we'll start up at the very top corner there. Let's uh, get this unwrapped. You know what? It unfolds almost as fast as the other one. Eh, maybe it's a little bit faster, actually. Might be a little bit quicker. And I'm just going to dive right in down this far side here. And we'll start working on this little section. We'll get rid of this little section here back and forth. And, uh, yeah, that's how we're going to work our way through this one. Like I said, we got to go from this side all the way down to the far side. Kind of a pain, but it'll give us a chance to test this out. Now, I'm not opposed to maybe buying a second... Oh, fire this up. Let me hear that thing whine. I'm not opposed to buying a second larger, the, the 16 row. In fact, we may end up doing that at some point. But with the 12 row available now, that was something we needed to get our hands on just to test this out. Now we're doing corn today. This is gonna be corn. We're gonna do barley in that field next to us. But uh, there we go. First, first row planted already. Lift this on up, spin it around. We'll just do this again. Massey's actually a perfect truck. This has been such a good tractor, guys. I can't not recommend this highly enough. This thing is great. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's get to work. Let's get through the field. To the last pass here on the uh, on the cornfield, guys. Gertie's wrapped up. She's waiting for me. She is. Uh, oh, I missed a little bit. Sorry. We gotta come back, anyways. There we go. She's just over that. There she is. She's it right there, waiting for me. She's gonna be uh, ready to do some barley. She's already filled up with the barley. So we gotta get this finished up, get this wrapped up, and uh, get into that field. It'll be nice if we can get both these fields in today. Does that mean we'll have corn and barley? Yeah, they'll be it'll be ready at the exact same time. I usually can uh, harvest both these fields at the same time as well. So now what to do? Ah, this little planter, I mean, we saved ourselves, what, 100 grand, 150,000 bucks versus the 16 row. And it's not that much. I mean, it's smaller, but it's not that much smaller. Uh, we'll get this little bit here as well. Um, by comparison, yeah, it'd be nice to have the, another, a second big one. But that's going to be, you know, we're looking almost $300,000 for that model right over there. So that's a thing. 
we got to think about 300 grand versus 150 yeah it's it's a tough sell guys it's, it's it really is right now we got the money we could probably do it though I, I guess the decision is is that really the slowest thing right now that we could spend our money on is that going to speed us up the most is being able to plant faster that's kind of one of the questions i'm asking i know harvesting right now is maybe might be one of the things maybe a, a third combine might be something i should look at buying because we do have two but should we go to three i don't know yet i'm not sure i need to th i really need to think about this but not a battle of planting unit these are both great units uh, i would love to get the bigger one like if we can get up to what is it a 60 foot or 50 footer then uh, then we'll be talking but you know maybe just a second one of these 16 rows up here guys maybe that'll do us for now i don't know let me know what you think in the comments down below but i think that's going to do it for us today we're going to fill this up with barley going to keep on planting away uh, and uh, we'll keep on working on this and see where we go from here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day, folks. We'll see you then. This is Clutch from Susquehanna River Valley. Over and out.